Oh, hi, everyone. It's Nick Mike Lack. It's Steve Frazier. Hello! Uh, <laughs> you've been waiting for it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's the next generation of Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Because Texas is the final frontier, apparently. <laughs> I can't say we've hit a new low. <laughs> But it sure feels like it. Jason X is hard to dip below, but we're we, we, give it <laughs> we're going to try. We're going to give it a swing here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, just so you know, we are sh watching the the shorter version of this movie, which is about uh, an hour and twenty six or twenty seven minutes long. Uh, there's a like a longer version that's like a director's cut that runs over ninety minutes long. It might be on the Canadian DVD or also bundled in with the Screen Factory release. But make sure you're watching the correct shorter version of this thing to make sure it syncs with our random observations of this fucking movie. So, uh, if you have subtitles, oh, well, you're gonna need luck. them. You're gonna need them. Turn them on, get your timestamp to zero, and we'll give you a countdown to sync up, so let's rip roar through this. <laughs> so in three, two, one, play. Alright, here we go. We've got, uh, even though it's the new generation, we are still, yeah. um, calling back to the original story. Yeah. Um, and of course, then it says, over the next several years, there were two minor incidents basically saying, those other two movies, fuck those movies, they're, they're not, nothing. This is the money right here. Oh, right. <laughs> this is the one we're going to bank on. Yeah. Because we got... Kim Hankel, who was co-screenwriter in the first film, saying, I'm going to come back and make the real sequel to the first movie. Which, Which is, is what they said the last two times. Isn't this just basically... 96? Good Christ. Yeah. Isn't this basically just a remake of the first one? Aren't they all? Then, well, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> all four. Yeah. Which we touched yeah. on before. Yeah. Let me say... The DVD copy I picked up, the, the coding on this thing is garbage. It looks like shit. I mean, we've got introducing Bob, Rob, Bob Jacks. Robert Jacks. That's a that's a good, solid name. Uh, you got Zellweger was number one. Well, yeah. McConaughey, two, billing. This Oscar-winning film. <laughs> Zellweger has two Oscars, by the way, currently. McConaughey's uh, work. He's got he's, one. He's working. He's got one. He's working, man. He's gonna keep. He's gonna. He's gonna shoot for that second one. I mean, he's deserved more than one. Oh yeah. Uh, all these people have had no career after this. <laughs> James Gale. I don't even recognize that. Hell no. Um. So. So kind of, kind of right off the bat, the, the longer version of the film starts out with this sub subplot that gets removed from this version, where Zellweger's father is like a, a abuser, like comes in and beats her up and does all kinds of nasty things to her. Okay. Which basically comes in the fact why later on in the film she's not as phased by all the shit going on with, with in the, the cannibals. House. Okay. Because she's gone through the gone through like domestic abuse stuff. Okay. So that's cut out of this I, version. I so don't mind that. That's the short and sweet. Is that a wedding dress? It's prom. That 90s haircut. Oh, yeah. And she looks terrible there, by the way. And what was taking, he doing? Taking a... Was he taking a two? Was he dropping a hot two on the sidewalk? What was he doing? <laughs> Like there's a bathroom in there, I'm sure. Come on, pal. Uh, you're right. This does look like crap. And yeah. um, we're just DVDing it. Uh, yeah. We don't have the Scream Factory. Because, you know, why, too, would, you, why would you pricey. put down $30 for yeah, this piece of no. garbage? Um, but you know what? It actually feels kind of vhs -y, and I, I was like, the thing is, like, the VHS probably looks better than this. But I kind of like it. I like the look. And only got, like, a Laserdisc release in Japan, which is the longer version of the movie. Now, do Laserdiscs have regions, or can you watch a Japanese? Oh, yeah. They're all the same? The only thing that was different between was NTSC versus PAL, and PAL was only kind of like in Europe. In Australia. But probably in Australia, yeah, too. Yeah, I know it was, because I've been there. Yeah. 
But usually most people didn't like the PAL ones because the transfers were not very good. Okay. So you uh, can watch... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be on the there's, hunt there's for... There's no region coding any kind. No. I'm going to be on the hunt for Chainsaw Next Generation Laser Disc from Japan yeah. for you for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, usually the only thing is they'll have Japanese subtitles burned into the picture. Oh, I see. I mean, I guess people dress up like this for prom. Hmm. I have to ask my sister. It's about the time she would have graduated. <laughs> I don't know. I stayed oh, home. <laughs> there's Barry. Sucking face. <clears throat> Like, no one has a secluded place around here at all. Just do it all out in the open where everyone That's can right. see you. Goddamn Barry. Now, he's, now she's going to steal his car? Because <laughs> I don't imagine that she drove... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is already off to a great start. Where do they get this car? This doesn't look like you like your, your your parents' car. You'd take the prom or anything. This looks like, I don't know, like, fifty Secret Service agent car. Right. Big long black sedan. You can get prostate cancer Prost by not having sex. <laughs> Oh, oh. I mean, we got a good heel, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. <clears throat> Like, what a what an asshole! Yeah. The problem is, Zell Wicker's nice and cute. She's really cute. I don't care. She might be a little mess her hair up. It doesn't really matter. She's still cute. I mean, are any of these characters likable right now? Other than maybe Zellweger? Mm. Z we Zell don't know her enough. Zellweger's to... had two lines of dialogue yeah, so far. Yeah, we don't know so, her. Yeah, this guy's had like 20. I mean, I guess she's cute here. We get better lighting, it'll look, it'll look better in the better. Yeah. It's like Jerry Seinfeld's a two faced uh, girlfriend. <laughs> like, on this, this light, you look gorgeous, but over there, fuck no, look like Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, like death proof. <laughs> Someone's. It's not far from the car from Death Proof. <laughs> Death Proof is awesome. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. It looks like some 50s sedan thing they're driving around in. And that's his dad's car, I guess? Some, I'm sure it's somebody's parents' car. This is the road you chose to turn on? <laughs> you stupid bitch. Again, the shortcut to death. You're not lost. <laughs> you literally just—you literally, for just, five seconds. You literally just turned around. The main road's over there. You just turned back and go where you find, where you came from. Girls have tits. This is the kind of writing. <laughs> this, this is the auteur writing here. <laughs> I mean. It, it is decent dialogue if you want to dislike this guy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh-oh. 
Well, now you're really in trouble. <laughs> That's it. You're dead. I mean... Like, dirt road, there's another guy out here. <laughs> I don't recall. This this guy might be in on the, the scheme, right? Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember. I watched it last night, I don't remember. <laughs> I just want to know what that other car was doing, going perpendicular <laughs> on the dirt road. Yeah, go, charging forward and towards a dead end. Right. <laughs> There's trees. What are you charging forward for? You're supposed to slow down to go around the corner. I would be happy to kill you. <laughs> I'd be... <laughs> Just, where, where's this dialogue come from? Well, if he dies, there's nothing wrong, and you just sit there. It's more of a problem if he's alive, I would think, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is a good enough setup for me. No, no, it's not. You know, five kids in a fender bender and yeah now we gotta walk I mean I guess the premise of you know mm. getting in a car accident late at night on a dirt road and then you gotta walk for help that's it's not bad it just feel like this particular execution is yeah just trying to figure out something real quick here okay no, they just shoot in Texas. I was like, does this really feel like Texas? But they shot, they shot there. Well, yeah, I feel it doesn't like, feel like the Texas of the of like the first movie or two. The well, it's also more modern. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, it's also hard because you know woods can look like woods. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. You, but, uh, but you as can't we, differentiate as, as a we Texas know, wood. Then. Kind of noted it in a couple of those previous films that they had these really nice, wonderful shots that kind of like established the landscape and everything like that. It's like it's all been like, oh, like medium uh, shots. There's no establishing <laughs> shot of anything. The Friday the Thirteenth remake that was clearly shot in Texas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, it's more like Texas than this film. That's <laughs> right. actually shot in Texas. <laughs> that's actually set in Texas. And so now this is like, you just open the door and go in? Yeah. And this is the equivalent of our gas station attendant, I essentially? I suppose so. Yeah. I mean... There's not a lot of original ideas here. <laughs> big hair, bad hair. Mm-hmm. Vilmer. Vilmer. <laughs> well, what a needy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were closer to the water fountain. <laughs> Just reach over and pull the handle, <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they, they made her look frumpy. And I, yeah. I don't care for that. No. I mean, maybe it would work in like if there's just like a regular day, but she's <clears throat> supposed to be done up for this prom. Prom, right. yeah, it's supposed to be uh, big night, big hair. Right. I mean, it worked to like big in, glamour. Like in Carrie, she yeah. looked like shit for most of the movie, and then you yeah. get to the dance, and she looked great. Sure. Yeah. You know, this is the reverse. Yeah. She looks like she's already been through the events of the movie. Right. <laughs> this is the next day. 
I'm not ready to go through the events of this movie. They go, hello. Uh, okay. That's oh, wait. Look. We still have a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then. She's saucy. And this guy, <laughs> this is Zellweger's date? Yeah. Bad hair guy. Even oh. though, uh, well, 90s hair guy. 90s hair guy. 90s hair guy. Oh, here we go. Here's some talent. Sexiest for you. man alive? Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Why isn't he driving a Lincoln? There's a little, <laughs> little something there. <laughs> I never tried McConaughey before. I'll refrain. <laughs> Yeah, you get real. You gotta get real loose and laid yeah, back. Yeah, you gotta. Too. Oh, yeah, you just a little, a little something like that, man. <laughs> I'll sound sounding something like Georgia or something. I'll sound all. I won't sound Texas at all. Yeah, I don't know where he's from. There we go. And now he's dead. I think. Yeah, I think he's Texas. It was a. It was a. Apparently, it was a funny thing, with him doing his audition because he. He auditioned for a real minor part in the film, and then the director asked him as he was departing, uh, you need, "Do you know anyone who would be like a good fit for the for this role that he ends up getting?" And he said, "Uh, not, no, not really, kind of, sort of." And then he drives off, and he turns around, and is like, "Wait the fuck a minute! Someone <laughs> and the biggest idiot, not say, hey, can I just audition for the role?'" Yeah. So he he caught himself going back. So. I mean, they yeah, just, he's from Texas. They just tried to make her look childish. You know what I mean? Plain, yeah. Man, she is cute here. Yeah. She's not cute now. And she's married to that guy who's like 25 years older than her. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. But she's got two Oscars at home, so mm -hmm. she's already doing she's better doing than me. Doing stuff right. Doing something right. Yeah, she's not not always been my favorite, but. <laughs> just got those fucking crazy eyes man he does have crazy eyes um and there's something you're right there's something about his voice that is you know relaxing mm -hmm. but could also be considered terrifying yes <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> oh. Ow! He is kind of a delight, though. <laughs> I, I will say. I've, I love just about everything he ever does. <laughs> and is that him, like, running over the kid yeah. multiple times? Back and forth? I think so. That would hurt a little. <laughs> I'll twist, you, twist you out of shape. How many lights does one need on a tow truck, <laughs> by the way? Nice full moon. <laughs> Why didn't they go to the gas station again? I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I think she said there was nobody there. I don't know. It looked open to me. Mm. Is 
It's another old car. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Split up. <laughs> I don't know. I just there's no Right again. There's, there's no stakes. <laughs> These damn chainsaw movies it takes half the film before they get anywhere. Before the story actually gets in the gear, it takes them 45 minutes. We don't care about the characters. There's no real stakes yet. Oh, no. Um, other than the kid, you There's know. There's no chainsaw yet. Well, no. I mean, nobody's dead other than McConaughey killing... Yeah. Breaking the neck there, which... <laughs> so, at this point... There's no need to even call it a chainsaw movie. No. It could just be any old Yeah, thriller. backwoods thriller. Yeah. You know that they went that way, right? And now you're... Oh, I see. This road has a lot of traffic on it for being... <laughs> for being in the middle of nowhere. And he was worried about being lost. This road's got <laughs> so many people on it. It's a, a car that hit him, a truck that wouldn't stop for him, a motorcycle. <laughs> There's a gas station. There's a, an office with a, the titty woman. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just standing here. <laughs> and you're gonna laugh about it? I mean, <laughs> come on. These two. I can't handle this. <laughs> Yeah, I think you are stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just, I, we need to, can something happen? <laughs> yes. Of all this riveting interpersonal drama. Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> basically he just likes to swear like a David Mamet movie or something. Come on. <laughs> oh. No. Playing <laughs> Gary going Wait, wrong. this. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you, sir. <laughs> That's what they think they're writing here. It's like, oh, oh man, the drama. So thick. <laughs> Always be closing. <laughs> Always be chainsawing. <laughs> ABC. Always be chainsawing. Chainsaws are for closers only. <laughs> oh. oh, I need some coffee. Mm -hmm. And where are they going? They're like going down a whole other road. They're going nowhere. She is on the road that they started on. I think, if my geography is correct. <clears throat> oh, she walked back to the site. <laughs> right? Sean is the... I guess so. Sean's yeah, her date. Yeah. Yes. Who is now run over in the road some <laughs> ways back. If you keep walking, you'll see him, I think. <laughs> Maybe. But now both cars are gone? Yes. And there's our blue pickup truck that's mm -hmm. reminiscent of two. Mm -hmm. 
And they've got a white farmhouse to remind you of one. Mm -hmm. So again, we get into another one of these situations where we're remaking a movie and keeping a lot of the same visuals and... Char some characteristics. Right. Um, all for the sake of homage right. and none for the sake of advancing the actual current story. <laughs> It's like everything doesn't have to be a wink and a nod. Because <laughs> nothing about this is sequel. No, absolutely not. It's formula. But that's and, it. I mean, just because it takes place afterward and has one crossover character... If you, if you can even identify that as much. Um, well, you can't. <laughs> For reasons we will get into in a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's so weird. It's like, okay, all the films follow the same formula of the first film, but they couldn't be more different from one another. Two has no bearing, has no semblance of what the first film was. Right. Three is just kind of commercial. Stupid, uh, yeah. Commercially stupid and just kind of a little bit homogenized in that way. And now this one doesn't resemble anything. I mean, talk about jumping the shark. Mm. Yeah, fix the titties. <laughs> What are you doing? You're just sitting on another man's property. <laughs> and you can't see or hear him? You, you can't feel that there's somebody <clears throat> standing behind you. That's the most unrealistic thing yeah, I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Sniffing why, her hair. Why would he smell her hair? What frame of reference? I don't know. I mean, what a dick. Hmm. Although in Texas, they'll just <laughs> point guns at anybody. Oh. I think. I like Bonafide Moron. That's good. Uh, this is so unrealistic that I can't even... I can't take it seriously. Like, she just looked up. Yeah. And... Does he... Just what the fuck is that? Can we talk about his mullet? God damn it. I mean, it's like he's just, wearing a wig. I mean, clearly. Just, it, who comes up with this? What What does this hair do? Just god awful. Looks like a fucking dead rat. I mean, dead animal on your head. I mean, it looks like John Oates from 1986. <laughs> <laughs> Oates had it ni nice and tight up there, man. He, was, he, he let it breathe. He had, a, <laughs> he had a, nice, a nice curl going on there, but it's not this. Now, if he had the Daryl Hall mullet, that was a thing of beauty. It's like, it's like half a foot tall, and it's all kind of swooped back, and everything is beautiful. I mean, there have been a lot of good mullets. Oh. Brutus Beefcake had a great oh, yeah. mullet. I mean, this is not a good mullet. <laughs> like, this legit looks like they went to Halloween Express and... You know, pulled a pop star wig out of the the bin. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so he's put her in the freezer, and now, well, <laughs> get back in there. Uh, There's a lot of this in the movie. 
just screaming. Is that a that's a drum from like a washer dryer or something? Is mm. it? <laughs> Shrieking like a fucking banshee. What the what, what is he wearing? <laughs> I mean, what is going on there? This guy's got a big mouth for somebody with a mm. shotgun pointed at him. Yeah. <clears throat> like what? What makes you think that? Don't shoot your own door. <laughs> Look what your brother did to the door. <laughs> it's my favorite line. Still. <laughs> He holding his stomach for? He's got to take a two. <laughs> he says he's got to use the bathroom. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me just take this random farmhouse. I'm gonna go drop anchor. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Okay, he's got a piss. Fine. That's just skin. Oh, it's somebody's face and torso. Oh, and, and boobs. There's boobs. Jesus. It's a female on the hanging on the the bathroom door. All right. Got a like a squatty potty in here, maybe or. Uh... Why do we have this scene? Do we do we need to see him using the men's room? We kind of fill up the plot somehow. Good water conservation there. <laughs> if it's yellow, let it mellow, right? <laughs> Again, I feel like they. He turned around and there was too much hesitation there. Yeah. It needed to be more... Edit. Yeah. Tighter quick, edit. Quick hit. Not turn around, see it, see it then and then it. not yeah. react. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Bubba here keeps just shrieking out. I mean, this... It's like a two-tone mullet. It's like black and brown. It's like... It's almost, it looks like one of those uh, floppy hats with the, you know, the, <laughs> that come over the ears. Oh. There's our, okay, our same beat from the first movie on the hook. Yeah. Um, the Leatherface character in this movie is a whiny bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I realize that he doesn't have any dialogue in any of the movies. No. But he doesn't just scream and cry yeah. either. Here we go. <clears throat> Academy take note now. That's right. This is 96. Well, they shot it in, like, 94. Oh, that's right. It was on it the shelf. It got delayed, right? and then the, these two really got... broke through. Her with Jerry Maguire, him with uh, Time to Kill. And so... Whoever had the rights to distribute where you wanted to plaster the names over, it, then... Because the two of them had the same agents... Oh, okay. Their agents kind of were going to file stuff to, like, you're going to exploit their images to promote the film. It was like, okay, well, they're... the Kind of like the two lead actors in the film, anyway. It's not like one of those some film you got from like 1983 where George Clooney's in it for like two minutes, right? And you're gonna put his name all over the fucking poster or something. It's like these are like the the two actors with the most screen time in the film. Of course, you're gonna put their them on it. 
glad you exploit it more because they're more name value now, but still, whatever the case, why wouldn't you do that? Anyone, any producer in the town would do that. So that it got like a limited theatrical release and just got, went out to home video after that. Yeah, I can't imagine this made any money. No, not nothing, nothing. And they made it for real cheap anyway. I mean, well, yeah. So far, there's er, nothing in here that you and I couldn't have done for a oh, hundred yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe a so, hundred bucks a piece. <laughs> apparently, Zellweger has done interviews later on, kind of thinking back on. She she doesn't have any any negative uh, look back on the film or whatnot. But she said it was it was a real low budget production. That everything. Basically, everyone was kind of crammed into an RV, one of the, pro the producer's RV, so as her hair and makeup and everything else was being done for the entire cast on the film. Yeah. And they're doing everything, like, again, dirt cheap, and she kept saying, like, I don't know if everything we were doing was legal, so they might not have had permits for certain stuff, and right. guerrilla filmmaking, God knows. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, yeah. It. Again, as I said, I mean... <laughs> The other three films, you could look at... The first film is what it is, but it still has those beautiful Daniel Pearl, Daniel Pearl cinematography moments. The next two films do have a certain production value to them. They have good cinematography. They have good uh, art design, stuff like that, the production design. So And Bill Mosley. Yeah. They've got Bill Mosley. Well, the second one, film. Second yeah. film is, oh, God. But uh, this one just hasn't had anything like that. We're all stuck on this dirt road. We're 36 minutes in. Oh yeah, no, no, nothing's happened. Nothing has happened. Gotta wait until 45 minutes, like I said. <laughs> then the film Did you time up. it when you watched it recently? I pretty much figured it out. Okay. And it's like, okay, well, this, Half? I'm meandering around in this film. There's nothing happening. It's exactly the same <laughs> template the midpoint that we is, complained about in the other films. The midpoint is supposed to be a pivot, yeah. not a beginning. Right. Act two is the Act beginning. Act two is about 20, 25 <laughs> yeah. minutes. With the length Sometimes of, as early with, as 10. With, with 86 minutes, about 20 minutes is when the thing should start picking up. Maybe 10, 15. Depending about, on yeah. if you're a good screenwriter, you can get it going early. Yeah. He is charming as all uh -oh. get out, isn't he? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's already so bad. <laughs> oh, this is like 10% of the bad that we're going to get. Oh, yeah. I mean, it... Like, this is all mild, man. This is the part where... <laughs> You take the drugs, and in a few minutes they kick in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we're just about to take the drugs. Yes. Like, I can't take this movie anymore. I need to do some cocaine and some heroin and, oh, so, so and some acid. I some acid somewhere, acid, man, right. by the end of this thing. And catch me in about 10 minutes. And <laughs> in about 30 minutes, man, you're going to be you're doped up to the eyeballs. That's right. What's our guy in Die Hard? What's his name? Ellis. <laughs> yes, Ellis. Uh, that's all oh, I want to be, Ellis. <laughs> Hart is his name. Hart Bachner. Hart right? Bachner. <laughs> oh, here's a chainsaw. Oh, it took only Time 38 it. minutes. 38, 39 minutes. Our first chainsaw. Into the water, okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess they've they've stuck with the theme of having Leatherface be kind of a chubby guy and the same kind Unwieldy of general with the with the thing. The same kind the... of general movement. Yeah. Um I don't know, I just I I still pick Gunnar Hansen because he was the yeah, first. Yeah, he's been the best up to this point. Well, it certainly doesn't get any better <laughs> later on. And, I don't know, 
I mean, I guess if somebody's chasing you with a chainsaw, you feel comfortable going into somebody's home, but... To find any kind of shelter, I'd imagine, yeah. It's just a mannequin? <laughs> she... This character is so ridiculous. <laughs> Zellweger's. <laughs> Uh, see, there's no bullets in that guy. No. Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> there are no more bullets. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Well, she's going to be fine. It'll be a okay. It's a good thing she didn't get thrown out the window, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> physics. <laughs> now it turns into Halloween 4. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit of that. This looks very dangerous. I'm sure it was. So I guarantee you they didn't build this shit on a sound, a sound stage. stage. No, oh, this fuck. is no, not on this gorilla shoot. Let me just verify a budget here. They might not have even told these people they were coming. <laughs> they just grabbed any old house. <laughs> Went up on the roof. <laughs> She's climbing the satellite antenna. He's... $600,000. He's chainsawing the antenna. $600,000. <laughs> yes. Which, I mean, sounds like a fortune to me and you sitting here. Yeah. But... We could do a whole lot with that. We could do better than this. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! But to somebody who is used to, you know, a studio who puts down 10, 20, 30, 40 million oh, yeah. on a movie, they can make this thing for today's lunch. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Essentially. I mean, even the Friday 13th movies, I mean, most of them cost at least a few million dollars. Right. And that was then. This is in 94. Yeah, that's a good 10 years plus. I mean, think back to, like, uh, Friday 4, the final chapter. Yeah. Like, that, it felt big budget. Yeah. It probably wasn't. It's was probably only a couple million. Yeah, maybe about three, four million. But, I mean, that was in, what, 80... 84 dollars. 84, uh, yeah, 1984. So, 10 years prior to this... I mean, and that movie feels, if this was 600000 that movie feels, you know, th four times mm -hmm. more important and prestigious and <laughs> well-made. I mean, look at the goddamn mullet! <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, I realize this is the 90s, and a lot of wow. people had mullets in 94. Billy Ray Cyrus. Sure. <laughs> You know, all of professional wrestling. Yeah. <clears throat> many, many music superstars. <laughs> it was just the thing to do. It didn't, it didn't look like these. Yeah, this. she's clearly the gas station attendant yeah. character yeah, in this yeah. one. Like, what is her job? Right. And what time is it? Exactly. Like, I assume that this is a place of business. Right. Why is she working? What do you do? This is probably like 10, 10, 30 at night at the, at the earliest. And she looks real estate to me. Yeah, I would buy that. Travel agent, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I mean, only real estate people and travel agents have a ficus in their <laughs> office like that. That's a hell of a plant there. Look at them all. A very 90s couch with the paisley mm -hmm. and the green and magenta. Mm -hmm. All these reflections.
Protective Services. I don't see no camera crew in them yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't really looking for that, but they blocked it out. All right, at least they at least someone had a clue what they're doing. I was watching. <laughs> I was watching something on <laughs> streaming in the last mm. week or two, and there was a a mirror shot that you could see the cameraman, <laughs> and I was like, "Get out of here, low budget bastards." <laughs> I agree. Glasses off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's, he's even got a little, like a broom, or whatever that is. Much like the... It's a uh, kettle prod. Oh, is it? He's the Mountie. He is. Now he's, you know what I mean? Just like the gas station guy. Yeah, yeah. With the broom, broom handle. Right, right. They're just, uh, what? There's still, can we talk? There's, uh, this we're is only the halfway first, through. This is like the, the first real plot point. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Again, this whole tired thing is like every everyone the, the characters encounter they're all laid on the entire goddamn thing. Doesn't matter who they are, what walk of life, anything. I know it's like this is our fourth go round. Right? Couldn't we just have kids get in trouble and need you know try to find a house? Right. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, simplify it. And they encounter. A chainsaw wielding whatever. You don't even have to go that formula. You could have the chainsaw people being the aggressors. And yeah. what if the circus came to town and the chainsaw people went and just started <laughs> killing people at the circus? Mm -hmm. I don't know. As I found it weird because the guy with the cattle pod they call him W E. I believe in in the the text opening of the third film, they said it was this W E Sawyer that they caught and tried in convicted and like sentenced to death or something yes, like that. Yes, right. So, I, I, but he's not a character who was in the films before, so I don't know. You can get a, <laughs> Fucking fuck continuity. You can get a bag of ice for only 69 cents though. That's, that's a pretty good deal. Buds. I want a black coffee. <laughs> I do kind of like that she's just doing this out in the open. It's just weird in a way. It's like, okay, she pops the trunk open, and so Wigger's first reaction isn't just to kind of like jump out of the fucking thing and try to run away again? I mean, right. I don't know. That would, that's what I would do. Again, what time is it? Exactly. There's kids out at this, at, at this I, hour. I think that they left the prom early. Because right. she caught the guy right. cheating, and the other two were in the car doing God knows what. Because problem happens at what time of year? That that's May. May, yeah. So we just passed May. May gets dark around eight o'clock at the latest, and it was already dark when that started happening. It feels like there's probably at least two hours. At least two two hours have kind of passed in the in the chronology of the movie at this point. And yet, all the Bare Cub minimal. Scouts are at the pizza parlor. Exactly. It's like they just came from the game or something. I mean, I guess it could be Friday night or Saturday night, but still. But still, it's just unusual. It doesn't make sense. Right. You're right. It's like okay. Mm. Can we just 
get on with it. Everybody's in on it. Right. We, we it know. Like, we, <laughs> stop meandering around the story. Because even then, we're again, we're this far into the film. Is like nothing's picked up at all. We still feel like we're we're just mulling around in the second act, doing nothing. This could be the still the first ten minutes it, of the movie it in could. theory. It could. Oh my Look God. at that. Come on. Come on. Put some effort into it. Come on. Well, I think that's the point, is that she doesn't know what she's doing. But why? What What are we doing here? <laughs> Nothing. We, sh we show her at the in the middle of the road here, where we never actually saw her escape from the goddamn house, so we, we've cut over a section of storytelling... What if, what was the last thing that we saw her do? Get put on the meat hook. Really? I think so, yeah. She was on the... You're right, she was on the meat hook. Yeah, now she's in the middle of the road. How'd she get off the meat hook? Yeah, we don't get that, and they've been in the house the whole time. Is Leatherface wearing... Yeah. Oh, so, dear. It's gotten even worse. And let's write this character where he only does quotes. Yes. Because that fits in with the rest <laughs> of the story. As if there's a story to begin with. And it's funny because they're portraying the mullet to be the actual hair. Because he put on the, a different... gra the grandma wig over the yeah. top of the mullet. Right. To indicate that the mullet is always there, <laughs> and that the wig is interchangeable on top of the mullet, oh, God. and this grandma face, and the muumuu that he's wearing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And here he just goes screaming again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he's got good hair. Uh huh. I, yeah, we're going to have some domestic violence here. Oh, God, yeah, he gets slap happy. <laughs> He's got his box of remote controls. <laughs> which... Yeah, there we go. That is <laughs> the worst delivery. <laughs> yes! And such bastardization. <laughs> So there's no effort. There's no point. Right. I mean, the cook is genuinely pissed that yeah. his son has taken a chainsaw to yeah. the front door of their family right. home. Right, right, right. <laughs> As anyone would be. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my oh, God. No. It's getting there. He does play crazy very oh. well. I just don't understand <laughs> any of it. <laughs> She's also from Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. In theory. Yeah. No, I mean, Reality. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to see in theory. Um, yeah, she's from Texas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have we addressed yet McConaughey's <laughs> robotic <Mechanical> leg? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> And why he has a remote control for it later on, I don't know. Again, another goddamn quote. It's at least the sixth one. <laughs> Christ. I just... Yeah, please tell us what it's all yeah, for. please.
I, I mean, or, they have also not even established a relationship between any of the people that live in this home. No. I mean, the suit woman gave McConaughey a kind of a hug yeah. to indicate that maybe they're a couple. Yeah. But then he brushed her off yeah. to the point where now you're not sure. Yeah, because he's pissed off. So oh, what the? F now we've got rape happening. Is that right? <laughs> like biting her face off or something. Oh, I thought he was kissing her. I guess he was biting her. Bite rape or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, we don't we don't know what the Leatherface relationship is oh, no. to you know, W E. Right, right. We don't know why McConaughey is here other than he drives the the truck the, the wrecker. Why does he have a mechanical leg? Yeah. Um Is that is that it? There's four? That's all there is. I don't know. I just want to know what, who they are. Yeah. Like they've not used the word, you know, like any sort Cannibal of or anything, yeah, or family relationship, no. you know, brother, sister. Yeah, right. Um. I, I, this is where it goes off the fucking deep end. Um, these people? <laughs> God fucking damn it. It's like the Illuminati or some shit now. So Texas cannibals killed John Kennedy? <laughs> Is that what you're selling me right That's now? That's what you're trying to tell me. I consider myself an aficionado on the assassination of John Kennedy. <laughs> I realize it happened in Texas. So Oliver Stone didn't come up with this idea. <laughs> I recall it being bullets, <laughs> not chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody threw a chainsaw at the car. No. Just want to know, have these, these two have got to cross paths at an Academy Awards or something? Yeah, I, some think, I think so. They had a conversation some point in time. Come like, on. Like, what did we do? <laughs> hey, let's not talk about that ever again, huh? <laughs> They like pinky swear. <laughs> now we've got a domestic violence situation. Oh, here comes mm. Dorothy Gale and her mm. little apron there. There we go. Oh, smack a bitch. <laughs> what a I don't what's happening? I don't understand anything. Meanwhile, in case you didn't notice, Leatherface is screaming and crying like a bitch. <laughs> and she just picks up the gun. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> Look at the bottle of Hunt's ketchup there, and it's in the big giant glass uh -huh. bottle. Remember those? Those were fun. <laughs> I mean, I wonder if they used the initials W.E. just because of that third film. God knows. I don't have <clears throat> no idea. Like, she's taking charge here. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't she just start pull, sh shooting? She 
She's got at least two. Mm -hmm. Start right there. Aim it up. Pull the trigger. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Man. Just smacking them around. I was... I was getting warmed up, man. I mean, the the infighting between yeah. the family, if you call it that, yeah. completely counterbalances or counteracts yeah. any sort of... Um, Threat upon her. Yes. If they're warring between each other, she could... Easily get her get herself out of the situation. She'd basically walk out right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. She's trying. Yeah. She's she's trying to pull herself through the scene here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? Why wouldn't she just go right now? Right, just dart out the door. Oh, she wants to save her friend. No, yeah, well, I think she's a little. The one who was just on a meat hook ten minutes yeah. ago. I mean, if you just let them kill each other. <laughs> That looks like barbecue sauce on the yeah. floor. I mean, sometimes I want to put my face in barbecue sauce too. <laughs> they're in Texas, right? Oh. So Texas barbecue is oh. <laughs> the there's no better. Well, he knows it's not loaded. Oh no! In a second here, it is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What in the hell is going on? <laughs> Excuse me. What just happened? <laughs> you asking that now, not later, are you? <laughs> you save those questions for later. <laughs> <laughs> the is <laughs> he's jumping down. Holy Christ! That really drives it home. It's not effective unless you make some sort of noise as you're jumping out the window. <laughs> now pedal. Drive. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. <clears throat> and now you're concussed? What the hell? Like, I get that part of the formula is you almost get away, but you're stopped and you're recaptured. That's, that's um, really weak. That's not exactly what this I would call this. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um... Oh, just leather now. <laughs> Hut, leather. Oh, she's up now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, motherfucker. Just... Now she's got to be concussed. I... Can we talk about the motives again? What are the motives? <laughs> what in the fuck? Uh, Leatherface just got sexy. <laughs> what's, 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 with, what's with this strappy out, outfit she's got on? She changed out of her pantsuit into that. And 
Why? Mm. And she is now being aggressively kissy towards him, who, less than an hour ago, had his foot on her throat. Mm. Am I? Do I have this correct? <laughs> yes. It's my is my scorecard up to date? <laughs> do you think they wrote a script for this? I don't think there's a script on this movie. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. <laughs> they just said, yeah, make it up as you go. Just roll some film, just do whatever you want. Uh, oh. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey has a remote control leg. <laughs> You said it was cold like an hour ago. <laughs> Love the old phonograph. Mm. Oh, and now we've got the dinner scene. Mm. Here we go. What are we? An hour six. <laughs> we still have 20 minutes left of this bullshit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whoa. She knows sold that. I am that one. <laughs> and these are who? It's not the same grandpa, I'll tell you that much. And Leatherface has tits at this point. Yes, he does. And Grandpa, that actor, I think, is somebody. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's somebody. It's definitely somebody else. So far, this whoever this Leatherface is, uh, oh God, what was it, Robert Jacks? Yep. Uh, so far, he looks better as a woman. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, he's somebody. I just... What? I'm so confused. Oh. I mean, I realize it goes even further off the rails. Oh, I'm just getting ready, man. Did he spit on her? Is that what happened? Like, <laughs> Leatherface has more wherewithal in this film than ever before. <laughs> and all he does is scream like a bitch and paint his nails. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we watching? God. Do people actually like this movie? <laughs> <laughs> My brother. Okay. <laughs> so at one hour and eight minutes, we've established a <laughs> familial relationship. Oh, good slap. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. These two are great. By oh, the way. yeah. Like, in a vacuum, if you showed this to somebody in 94 and said, two people in this movie are going to be big stars, mm -hmm. I think the guess would be these two and maybe, like, the woman. Yeah. She really kind of takes over this scene here. Oh, yeah. Oh. And... It's just going off the rails, man. And now Grandpa's actually alive. I mean, he looks like death warmed over, but... <laughs> he's pretty lucid here. 
And she just says, I'm going to leave. No one's going to stop me. <laughs> Can we just... Bear in she... mind, no one's been killed with a chainsaw in this movie. Leatherface just stood up. Leatherface. Yes. Stood up and went... <laughs> and Selwager said, you sit the fuck down. And Motherface <laughs> did it. Yep. Now a woman's on fire. <laughs> Maybe it's Tony Caesar. <laughs> Tony Caesar. Uh, I think Tony. I think Tony Sellers hired in this whole goddamn movie. <laughs> he ain't working for no six hundred grand. That's probably correct. Leatherface is now back to putting on the makeup. But. Tony is a stuntman in the remake. Uh, the okay. Platinum Dunes remake. Okay. He's, he's in that, so we will get there. Oh, God. He takes the Michael Bay money, man. You know, that that's a lot of money. Well, Michael Bay's got money. Like, Who are these two idiots? <laughs> like, is this the mafia? It's like Dollar Store Al Pacino here or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just the... I don't understand anything with this, this this turn in the film. It makes no. I don't understand anything from this point onwards. And who's this? He has no sideburns either. This tall drink of water back here. Fucking lurch. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> He looks like the mafia. He looks like an Italian mafioso. I mean, look at it, that's a bad wig too on oh, that it's guy. Horrible. Whatever's going on with him is horrible. I like said there's no sideburns. McConaughey looks great. Oh yeah. Zellweger looks better now than she did at the beginning. Her hair's been styled now, yeah. Kind of looks like Liev Schreiber. He does, yeah. Are we sure that's not Liev Schreiber? <laughs> no, definitely not. What the fuck is happening? I don't understand. I mean, they talk about fucking assassination conspiracies, that they're somehow linked into this shit, then fucking... Oh, that's right. These guys killed Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking Diamond Store Don Corleone shows up. Listen, I, I, what, I, Can somebody explain this to me, please? <laughs> I want the good leads, the Glen Gary leads. <laughs> you just cost me six thousand dollars, you asshole. Who told you you could work with men? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, just, what the fuck is happening? Nothing is clear, sir. Nothing is clear. It's, gonna get, it's just gonna jump. It's just gonna jump the rails again in about 20 seconds here. It's <sighs> gonna <laughs> keep getting off. Oh, film just so rapidly just crashes and burns into the side of the fucking mountain. It I, just I what the fuck is going on? He does have a remote control leg. It's a mystery to all of us, sir. <laughs> 
<laughs> she says, oh, you know what I mean. We don't know why she's here. You haven't explained any of that. What is what this? What the fuck is this? What the blaze is is this shit? What the living fuck? He's got three door knockers on his abdomen. What? <laughs> and Why now he's he licking, licking her. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. What? If an alien burst out of him at some... If he transformed into an alien being, it would make more sense to me, because that at least be an explanation. Look at, look at these sensual faces that Leatherface is making. Oh, like, like, he, like he's been watching porn. Don't eat the pizza off the floor. Just uh, who, uh, oh, God. I just have no fucking idea. What are, what What's are, with the keys? What, well, uh, that I think it's kind of cool, actually. Well, still, I mean, what did uh, what did we solve there with those two guys? I have no fucking living clue. Film just jumped off the fucking deep end of things for about two minutes there with no explanation about any fucking thing. Leatherface's We're titty no is hanging out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whose neck is he breaking? He's not doing anything. He's only that's his only move is he breaks necks. <laughs> I seem to recall somebody hanging upside down. Oh, his, there we go. His... So here's uh traits of the hitchhiker, right? Oh yeah, and... yeah. That screaming you hear is Leatherface, uh, by the way. Again, why, why, why is he I mean, slicing himself up? Perhaps your volume is down, but if you turn your volume up for just a moment, you will hear... Ah! It's an air raid siren. Yes. <laughs> what is this episode of Hoarders? Shit. Let me kick back in with some rock music here or something. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening. I mean, the two-finger point. And now he's got her again? Mm. How many times can this bitch not escape? I, what? Are you going to do it? He doesn't ever hesitate before. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now... This turned into Shocker. <laughs> oh. Shocker's way better. Oh, God. But they're fighting with remote controls. <laughs> Shit. And there's random characters that don't mean anything. Mm. This is Shocker, only worse. Oh, God. And whatever drugs I took this, 20 minutes ago, it, I regret taking those drugs. They've kicked in. This is the dirt under the feet of Shocker. She's literally escaping because she's pointing a remote control at his leg <laughs> and she's incapacitated him. He's just leather. <clears throat> no Bubba. No one calls him Bubba in the film, so <laughs> there could be a reasonable. He's just got a random pocket of assortment of just random TV remote controls. And he's going to yell his name. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, you got to give him credit for always putting in 100%. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, the fact that they, the fact that they never call him Bubba. Maybe you can make an argument that's not actually the original lesser feather face. <laughs> Again, we're on a road here that... She's fucking hauling ass there, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> okay. How did he get in the truck? <laughs> it's almost takeoff from the beginning of two. Right, right. Oh, there's no, uh, what does that guy say? Bright lights, big titties. That's, you got it. <laughs> and the great Tom Savini head chop. <laughs> On that bridge that was six miles long. <laughs> Don't tell me this family owns a crop duster. What is the significance of this airplane? Oh, come up. It's fun not watching this for a while <laughs> and watching it live, live to tape here. Because I really don't remember. And I've probably just put this all out of my mind. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> that would kill him, by the way. Well, I think that's the, the idea there. Well, he's still moving. Oh. And now he's screaming again. <laughs> like that's anything new. I mean... And now... Like, I'm so confused. There are no answers. So she gets in a limo on the side of the road, driven by Lurch. He's reading an Italian newspaper in Texas. She has nothing to fear. You have three hoop earrings on your belly button. Ugh. Uh, w uh, don't you even dare. Uh huh. I'm, <laughs> That's a statement there. I, I'm so... just turned off to the whole thing. Who is people like us? Explain yourself. Do you have any idea what's happening right now? I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> I understand nothing. Did I miss something here? You missed nothing. <laughs> I I didn't talk over plot points. I've Can been you? I've been looking at these subtitles very regularly. No, I didn't miss key scenes. <laughs> no. Uh, what what is all about? That's Marilyn Burns, by the way. Okay. And, um, and that orderly is somebody too, um, but that was Marilyn Burns. Okay. As a at a cameo. Um, that that guy that's pushing is also somebody, but they didn't show it long enough yeah. for. Um, for it to register, we'll have to look in the credits, but. Yeah. Um. Yeah, fuck this. He's still going, huh? She, it, still going? And... And then this long black pause, which... Come on. Well, you gotta add 30 more seconds to the... Mmm. <clears throat> uh... What? <gasps> What just happened? John Duggan. 
was the uh, okay. uh, the cop uh, and uh, early Paul 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 Bartin. Yeah, Paul the okay Franklin. Franklin, yeah. So all the cameos at the end. It's a fun little whatever. Yeah. Um, but then it's like okay, like <laughs> I didn't register that because I didn't I I I've never really seen Marilyn Burns older. Right. So when they're saying like saying to Zellweger's character, oh, do you recognize a person like, I'm trying to think back, is that someone who was in the film before that I don't remember now? No. It's very confusing. Yeah, they didn't show the orderly long enough for you to even register that it could be somebody. Yeah. Um, and then that cop there was John Duggan who played the grandpa. Yeah, okay. So that is probably the most exciting 30 seconds because of the cameos. Like, I don't even have words. Yeah, this is a shit storm. Like I said, I... Even seriously talking, like, is there a real fucking script to this movie? So they just slap the ideas together randomly. Well, I'm... I can't... I, it's not even a movie. No. I mean, there's no, there's no real story here. No, what? Well, uh, there's barely a plot. The there's first, no story. The first half, which was the half with no story, had more of a story. Right. Than the second half. Yeah, they're getting crashed out on the road and trying to find some some way to contact someone or whatever right. the fuck it is. Some like kind that's of ride. okay. That's the beginning of something, but there's nothing else after that that resembles a story. And they're throwing... I don't, I don't even want to talk about the other crap in the film. It's just... Because there's no sense to make out of any of it. It's just garbage thrown at the screen. It's really bad. I mean, Scream Factory put together a nice remaster yeah and then they sell it for 24.99 or 29.99 or yeah and people buy it <laughs> uh, who bought this for 29.99 US for those of you outside at least I bought my copy off of off of eBay from Goodwill so my 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 purchase benefited you charity like 2 dollars or something it, it benefited some charity somewhere Uh, uh, oh my god. They did not have this many people on the movie. These are all like thank yous or something. These are all the people that helped They're them make... They're thanking more people than they actually worked on the film. Yeah. I wish I got paid $600,000 to have to sit through this again. Ugh. Uh, no. I can't. No. We're gonna we're gonna do better stuff next. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is hot garbage. Oh. Nah. All right then. Uh, On that note. I think we're done. All right we're, then. We're more than done. So guys, just take care. <laughs> Stay well. Be happy. Bye bye. Bye. bye.